Hey YouTube, it's Kim. I'm here with um, some project shares and happy mail and just stuff. <laughs> I know it's been a minute, so let me just jump right in. Okay, so the reason why I'm making this video is because I want to show you guys some things. I was bound and determined to go to Michael's this Friday where they have 30% off your regular prices. There's a coupon. Well, I'm trying not to spend any money, so I said, you know what, I can probably make the stuff myself. So with that said, because I was going to go and get some frames and some of the bows and I can't even remember what else is they have, but I'm not even going to go because I made my own bows. Bam. And I used my one, two, three punch board, which I've already put away. But you guys know it's the one that makes um, the boxes and the bows and envelopes and the file folders so these are the ones I made and this paper is from Echo Park it's the dots with the copper in it super pretty and the washi tape is from Michaels so I made two packs of those I'll probably send one to my mom and then with the Martha Stewart air dry clay you guys know that I got those a while ago was it last year mm, yeah it was last year so I made my own frames and these are not heavy. These are like air clay and they're air dry. So all I did for the colors is use some of my MFT re-inkers. And I think this one is the Peach Bellini. Um, here's like a light aqua. I think I used Berrylicious. I wanted to make more, but you know, my hands were getting tired because you have to kind of knead the air clay, you know, make it to make sure you get the right color. Um, these were the pink ones. It didn't come out the color that I wanted, but I'll still use them. And then here's some white ones. And make sure you guys check me out on my Use Your Stamps Finale project because I did use one of these frames. I didn't want to just make them and not use them. So, And there's um, like a mint green. So those are some embellishments that I made using my stash. And I'm happy so proud of myself and you guys see that I use um, I save all my packages so these were all paper smooches packaging and these are good for like you know making embellishments and send out to racks so I don't I try not to throw away packaging especially if it's still in good condition okay now on to the happy mail this is actually birthday happy mail I had it for a minute yeah I know but this is from my partner Steph who's found baby craftaholic and she sent me this gorgeous card. She had this on one of her videos. And I was just like drooling. Look at all the detail. The tablet is not doing it any justice. And inside, oops, there's a note for me. But it says, um, floating by with my best wishes and happy birthday. How cute is that? She does the most elegant work. And I'm so glad I have a... Steph creation super cute and with that she also sent me um, I don't want to mess it up because it's so pretty this is the Prima butterfly papers and it says she wrote down here you can make a mini or a bunch of cards and she die cut all these out for me and this is the butterfly collection from Prima try to flip I'm sure you guys have all seen the papers and then there's some chipboard pieces in here and some for um, overlays. That was super sweet, so I can't wait to play with that. Okay, and I'll show you guys what I make with that. And then she also sent me some of these gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. And these flowers are like, um, like foam. Oh, they're so pretty. Look at the gorgeousness. These are paper, these white ones are paper, but these two, these are like foam, so pretty. And then she also sent me some, um, what are these called? You guys know what these are called. <laughs> so thank you, Steph, for the awesome birthday gift. I appreciate it. I know my birthday was last month, but, you know, it took a while to get here, and then I've had it for a minute. So, yeah. Thank you, girl, my partner. Okay, so now I want to show you guys my order from Seven Kids. Now. When I got this order, I was like, you got to be kidding. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you guys my order. This is what was holding my order up. This was, this is the Avery L. Uh, what is 
this called? A tag for all. And it has the words, um, I won't read them. There's like a lot. Happy birthday, thank you, wishes, stuff like that. So this is what held my order up, which which I'm okay with. I was going to use the tag die, but my project didn't turn out okay. So I tossed it. Um, this one, I've been wanting this one for a minute. This is called Wonky Stitches Die. Super cute. So I got that one. And then I got this one. This is the Small World. Small World. Small World. Oh my goodness. Small Word Pop. Scallop. I don't know what they mean by pop, but it's the word bubble. And then I got the Dynamics Love and Adore You. I got the Mama Elephant Mini Messages, and this was one of the reasons why I ordered from them. Everywhere else, this was out of stock. And then I got the mini tags to go with that. And then last but not least, I got the CC Designs. She Easter Lucy, which I will not use her this year, definitely next year. But let me show you guys this is what shock and awe. Look at this bag. This is what my order came in. Now, mind you, there's dyes in there, right? There is no padding in here, nothing. Do you guys see that? I mean, is that crazy or what? I'm just saying. I mean, somebody could have stepped on it, bent it up, and, you know, my dies would have been cracked or whatever, broke, and she was going to replace them. But, I mean, I'm just saying. There's no padding in here at all, you guys. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm going to move on. <laughs> I was just, I was just in, in, in awe. I mean, just, yeah, okay. So let me move on. So, I know a lot of you guys have asked me to show you the quilts that I'm making for my niece. And I'm actually going to make two. I'm making a boy and a girl, I think. One could be for, they could both be for girls. Um, but one could be for a boy. And what I wanted to do was to show you guys the fabrics. And I'm going to be working on these, not this week coming up, but the, the first couple of weeks of April. So hopefully by the end of April, I will have them completed and be able to make a video and show you guys. So I just want to show you guys the fabric. Because, yeah, if you guys didn't know, yes, I do sew. Um, it's been a minute, but um, I enjoy making the rag quilts. But these are the fabrics that I'm using. And this is the one I said could go for a boy or a girl. And guys, I got these fabrics last year. Joann's, after Thanksgiving. I want to say they were $1.74 yard. And I just got a yard of each one. Because I knew that's that's all it would take. So yeah, these are the patterns for this print. And like I said, this could go either way. For boy or girl. It's kind of like, mm, it's, not, it's not soft. So there are those. Okay. And for my niece... He has the pink and gray version. And I wanted to show you guys a little elephant. Oh, you guys can see it right there. Super cute. So there's that one. There's a stripe. Of course, got to have the polka dots. Gingham. And this gray chevron. I'm actually going to go back and see if I can find... Um, I think the flannel was on sale. I'm going to try to go see if I can find a gray polka dot. I did look during the, when I got these, but they didn't have um, a gray polka dot. So anyway, guys, that is my share of stuff. <laughs> Plus, I just wanted to come in and say, hey. So anyway, I want to thank you guys for watching, and you guys have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you soon. Oh, and don't forget to watch Monday for our finale for Use Your Sam's Monday. All right, you guys, talk to you later.